All right, so I got another Will It Run here today. This is a 1951 Home Light model DC generator. That's what it says, model DC. It's 120 volts, 650 watts. Should be a 1800 RPM generator. It has a four bolt Tilson carburetor on it, like a. I've got an iron horse motor that has a four bolt Tilson carburetor. Oh, got this this morning. Turns over, it has good compression. Oh, it actually has the same type of magneto that a Maytag has. This one has a Briggs and Stratton fuel ball on it that's loose. All the fuel fittings are loose. So somebody was working on the fuel system at one time. Oh, I took, I did take the plug out of the side of the carburetor and figure out that the carburetor is really clean so there's no reason that it shouldn't run things got a heck of a cylinder on it for a two-stroke this is a two-stroke oh this is actually a really big two-stroke motor but has a newer-ish looking muffler on it that's a Briggs muffler from tractor supply but the guy I got this from said that it, he's had it for 35 years and he's never tried to get it to run. So, it's probably not running 40 years. Probably. At least 35. So we're going to see if it'll run and generate power after 35 or 40 years. I like the cap that says home light in it the gas tank is 15 kinds of crest ears rest in there and hopefully don't have no holes in it but we'll hook it up to a separate gas tank if I got to nifty gas cap with a hook on it but it's also the vent to keep it from keep you from losing it nice brass tag on it so let's get it get started and see if we can make it run all right so i'm gonna take the plug out plug wire needs to be replaced but it's same as a may tag so should just it plugs in. This plug was loose. Of course it's not now. Spark plug looks really good. That's oil on there. I sprayed some oil and it's a champion. D21. And a little washer stayed with that so I have checked it for spark it doesn't have any so we have to clean the points so point should be back here this has no nut on it so I'm assuming it comes off with the cover and there's that so there's some kind of coupler in there that holds this stuff together I've never even seen another one of these generators so There's a ball bearing in there. There's our points. And they are 15 kinds of crusty. So 
take a piece of sandpaper like this and run it between the points a few times like that. Still not shiny. All right, so I won't make too long a video while fling these points. All right, so right now, the points are closed. And they shouldn't be because the little divot on the crankshaft is over here. So I need to open the gap up. Which I hope there's enough of this here to do that because it's already about at the end of its adjustment. say that the gap is supposed to be 20 thousandths because most of them are everything that I've ever seen pretty much is 20 thousandths except for a color they are 25 usually so about 20 thousandths and now we can lock that back down keeps it from backing out I wonder if I could find a new set of points for this thing anywhere if anybody has some let me know now I need to turn this so that I can be sure that the points are closing now. And they are. So, technically, I should have a bar. And it just dropped my wrench. And they're good and clean. This cover back on. There's a certain way it has to go on. There. Like that. Well, like that. All right, so I got spark. I can't show it because there's no good way for this phone to pick it up. But trust me, it's got spark. Good hot blue spark, so. I need to take this fuel system apart. Just the line and the bowl, and I'm going to take the tank off to clean it. And, uh. We'll pour a little gas in it here in a minute and see if it'll start. Alright, so I hope you get a good camera angle there. These fittings are loose. Go ahead and pull this off. There's a little 
filter's green. And the gasket. There's a fuel inlet port. Always nice when a bunch of rust pours out of that. And I tell you what, let me find some gas. We'll put it in this port. We'll see if it'll start. Alright, so here we go. We're going to try to fill. It's full. And step back a little bit here. Full choke. I'm going to attempt this without putting anything in the mouth of the carburetor. Let's see how well that works out for me. Inside the mouth of the carburetor, I'm getting something. I heard something that time. Back that choke off. Yes. call that a success. Things blew crap everywhere. Rattled everything off the workbench. So, it runs. Actually pretty good. It's running a little bit rich. So, I'm going to adjust that. Put some two-cycle oil in that gas because I Keep forgetting this thing's a two cycle. It's a used to brig. And we'll see if we can get her to run again. Alright, so sit it down here on the floor. We're going to see if it'll take off again. Adjusted the mixture a little bit.
That thing runs really good for sitting all them years, but I don't know. It's a loud little bugger for what it is. All right, so I pulled the tank off and cleaned it. That's pain in the rear end, but it's clean-ish. It's 15, still 15 times crusty. That's parts washer goop. So let's turn on the gas and see how many leaks. Fuel bowl right off the bat. So the fuel bowl is no good. Apparently, I was hoping I wouldn't have to wrestle with that. power now this thing just needs quite a bit of work that carburetor needs to be gone through the float stuck fuel bowl needs to be gone through probably needs a new fuel line new intake gasket new plug and wire the gas tank needs to be run through evapo rust that muffler needs to go in a different place but at least further out because I keep burning my fingers on it at least it runs and works and runs that drill anyways. So at least I know it does that. It's a good generator head. Motor's not rattling or nothing, so I wanna get it to where I can actually use it a little bit here and there. Take it to the shows and run a fan or something. But for right now, that's going to be it for this Will It Run video here. And you definitely be seeing this 1951 Home Light Model DC generator in another video. Because I'm definitely going to get it fixed up. I don't know if I'm going to paint it yet or not, but... Uh, Definitely going to get it fixed to where I can use it. So, thanks for watching, and that'll be about it for this one.